Small multiples allow you to create charts that are repeated across different slices of your data, making trends and outliers easier to recognize. They are inserted by selecting the menu item in the Excel queued ribbon. This creates a new chart and opens the task pane from which the chart layout can be designed. Here I can see all the available dimensions and hierarchies. Drag and drop your desired hierarchy to place it on categories. Clicking on this hierarchy then opens the Member Selector tab. I can select which members I want displayed, and the chart updates automatically. I can now repeat this chart across different slices in the data. To do this, go back into the Layout tab and drag the desired hierarchy onto columns. Again, select which members to display, and the chart is now updated, showing an individual chart for each country. The charts all lie on a uniform scale, making comparisons between the data much easier than if I displayed the numbers in a grid. I can toggle auto-wrapping to make the charts easier to read. The charts are now spread over two rows, but still share a uniform scale, so we can easily compare the series. I could, however, create rows showing a different hierarchy. To do this, drag the desired hierarchy onto the row section in the task pane and make member selections as before. We can now see the chart is updated to a matrix, with bike subcategories on rows and countries on columns. In the same way, we can also control the series that are displayed. We can see the chart now shows a series for each reseller type. Any of the member selections within the small multiple chart can be driven from a slicer or Excel range, just as we would for a grid. So, for example, if I add a multi-select slicer for the geography hierarchy, I can go into the task pane and change the member selection to be driven from my slicer. Now, when I make changes to the slicer, the small multiple updates the columns accordingly. Small multiples within Excel cubed are unlike other charts in that they are drillable. I can take a closer look at what's happening in Canada, for example, by either double-clicking on the chart's area or member name, or right-clicking and selecting Drill Into. Now the chart shows the children of the Canada member on its columns. I can navigate back to the previous view using the arrows in the top left. If I need to clear all drills, I return to the state as in the task pane, right-click and select Clear Drills. If there is only one chart of interest, and you wish to take a closer look, right-click and select Keep Only. To see what more you could do with small multiples, take a look at our Small Multiple Features video.